Okay. I, I was afraid you was going to wear some real big heels and I couldn't call you my little girl. <laughs> but Sister Danielle, she's going to be going off to college. But you know what? You still daddy little girl. Right. Mama little girl. Yeah. And they know where you're going to be. <laughs> but I got something today. And it's just for you. Can't you look at it? Ain't no sneaking. <laughs> you know, I told her I was going to get a paddle and we're going to take communion. And take this in remembrance. <laughs> you know? But you know, I, I wouldn't do that to her. She's a young lady now. And, you know, she has grown up. And she loved the Lord so much. Amen. Amen. And I know that, that she is going to be taken off and she's going to be leaving us. For a little while. But you're coming back now. We claiming it. But while you're gone, I want to do something that you're going to remember. See, you take this in remembrance Amen. of us here today. Amen. And every time that an example comes your way, you're going to think about this. Amen. And all y'all young ladies and young men out there, now take this and heed. Because this is God's seed that's going to sow into you. That you will take this in remembrance and never forget it. In 2 Timothy 2.20, it says a great house has many vessels. Some of gold, some of silver, and some of wood. It says some of honor and some of dishonor. Now this shows us the example of the church here. It's full of many vessels. Second yes. Corinthians it says there's treasure in earthly vessels. That means there are many vessels sitting here today. Amen. There's some gold, there's some silver, and there's some wood. There's some with honor, and there's some without honor. But you know what? We're all in the house Amen. where God wants us. Now what I'm going to say to her today is when you go off to college, that's going to be a great house. Yeah. And there's going to be many vessels in there. Yeah. And there's probably going to be some styrofoam. Yeah. <laughs> some fake vessels. Come on now. Yeah. And so you're going to have to have this Word of God inside of you yes. to know what's gold, what's silver, what's wood, and what's fake. Yes. It says in Matthew, it says, the kingdom of God is as a treasure hidden in a field. Now there's some people out there with some big acreage. Yes. So what I got for you today I got you a bag to carry. I got you some weed be gone. <laughs> now, now this right here, one squirt. And that weed gonna be gone away from you. So I got that for you. And why are you setting up there those many different kinds of vessels? I got you some gloves. <laughs> so now you're going to have to work some ground. Yeah. And you don't want this filth all over you. Uh -huh. So I got you some little tools. Uh -huh. I got you a little shovel now. <laughs> now when you're looking out and this young man comes up to you and say, Girl, I'd like to take you out tonight. <laughs> I want you to remember your tools. <laughs> and your weed be gone. <laughs> And I want you to, look, not seeking the treasure, but check out the field first. Make sure the briars and the mud holes and the things like that, you know, dig it in a little bit, check it out, rake it across, get rid of all of that mess, and pray to God. This is yours for your college. <laughs> When we go out into 
into the world. We have to be careful becoming of the world. And you know, we can joke around and we can kid around, but, but you know, little things like that, you'll never forget. See, that's the seed of God. When it comes in through love. So you could take a hammer and pound the word in there and it's not going to be a good bit of good. But you can give it in love. And then I always really remember, you know, in the illustration is if you go out into this world, you'll know what's of God if you prepare. And that's what we've done here today. And I know that she's going to do real great. She's been taught the way of the Lord and I know the Lord is dealing in her and she's going to be plowing some field down there and she's going to be sowing some seed. She's going to be sowing some good seed. And that's what we want to talk about today. I want to talk to you about when I was speaking in 2 Timothy. It says it's a gray house and there are not only vessels of gold and silver and also of wood and of earth. Some of honor and some of dishonor. You know, a great example of this is in the church. People come to church and they fall out because they think the church is perfect. But I'm here to tell you that there's not a perfect church. There's not a perfect church. So you might want to get your seat, put your name on it, and come on back. Because it's going to be the same at the next church. You say, well, I don't like the way they talk to them. Well, they're going to talk to you like that down there. When, when the spirit of Satan learns what affects you, he's going to use it everywhere you go. On your job, in the store, and through your friends. So you might as well set yourself and let yourself know there's many vessels out there. And some of them's fake and some of them's real. And so as us realizing this as the church, the church is an example. There's many different ones in here. We have poor people. We have rich people. We have people that in debt. We have people that's not in debt. We have good people. We have bad people. We have Democrats. We have Republicans. And the good thing about that is, is it's all different. And we could come together as one. You see, if we were all equal, as far as if we were all Democrats and we all lived in the same color house, the same kind of house, drove the same color car, drove the same kind of car, everything was just like you look at me, I look just like you. It'd be a pretty thing. <laughs> <laughs> but if we were all alike, we'd be so disappointed and unhappy. But see, that's why God created us in His image and in His likeness. And then He gave us this soil and breathed the breath in that we're walking today as these vessels. Some are gold, some are silver. Some are wood and some are made of clay. But we in the house. We where God wanted us to come together. Assemble ourselves together. That's what we are today. And so 